Hi, welcome to Unit 2, Lesson 12. Using graphs to compare relationships cool down. In this problem, it states that Noah and Diego left the amusement park's ticket booth at the same time. Each, move it at a, each moved at a constant speed towards his favorite ride. After 8 seconds, Noah was 17 meters from the ticket booth and Diego was 43 meters away from the booth. So question one says which graph represents the distance traveled by Noah and which graph represents the distance traveled by Diego? Label each with one name. So if we look at the information given to us, it says after eight seconds. So that means if I look at my x-axis, which is the eight seconds, let's say eight falls about here. So this is eight. If I were to draw a line up, I have a point here and a point here that crosses on the lines. Now the y-axis is the distance traveled. Notice that this point is lower on the y-axis. Okay, that means of the two numbers given to us, 17 meters and 43 meters, this one must be 17 meters. So that means this line represents Noah's speed. In the same token, the top one must re represent Diego's speed. Question two says to explain how you decided which graph represents which person's travel. So since Diego had gone farther after eight seconds, his graph would need to be steeper than Noah's. Okay, so a couple of different ways to look at it. You can look at it as just choosing a time on the x-axis, drawing a line up, seeing the connection between the steeper graph and the less steep graph. Um, notice that Noah's is going to be lower, so that means he um, would have the less steep graph. Thanks for watching.